Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to make a PDF reader. Yes, I said it, a PDF reader in uh, Microsoft Visual Basic. So go ahead and open it up. So once you're there, you want to create a new application, make it a Windows Forms application, and I'm going to call mine... Uh, I'm going to call my PDF reader. Press enter or OK to create the application. Alright, and um, once you get it loaded up, it's still loading a little bit. Um, down here it'll say project creation successful. Alright, so now it's ready. So click on your form, and wait for it to load again, and I'm going to resize mine to about the size of a window you would want for a PDF reader, which you you don't have to do the exact same dimensions, it's just whatever you feel. Alright, so I'm going to call this PDF reader, I'm going to uh, click show icon to false because I do not have an icon. And what you want to do now is uh, add a tool strip. And add one, two, three buttons. Uh, change the, oh, oops, not the image. Change display style to text and go down scroll down and uh, where it says text replace that with open then go here and do the same thing display style to text and go down change the text to next and the net and repeat the um, process. Change it to text. Scroll down. Change the text. And this one will be previous. And I think we can actually do one more. So let's go ahead and copy and paste previous. And change the text to print. Well, uh, as you can see, this gives you a couple of options, and um, now you're not—you shouldn't have this on there. So, but to get it, right-click on Common Controls or any uh, any thing, and uh, click Choose Items. Takes a while to load. All right, so now you're, now that you're there, go to Com Components. Mm. And at the first one, it'll say Adobe PDF Reader. Make sure that is checked. Click OK. Then go ahead and drag one into your form. What's going on? There we go. Now change the doc to. And let's go ahead and. Start Oh, wait, and you want to add an open file dialog. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so then you want to go over to the open file dialog, change the file name to nothing, change the filter to PDF file. Oops, files. I cannot type today. Uh, then that thing <laughs> and asterisk dot PDF. Then uh, that thing again, and then put all files and press enter. Uh oh. Okay, I messed it up. PDF files. Uh. Uh, asterisk dot pdf and then all files and then asterisk dot asterisk 
There we go. So, once you're there, uh, let's see the default there. Alright. Default file extension. Dot PDF. Um, and you can change the title to choose PDF. And initial directory to document. Uh, never mind. So I'll just leave that there and on open, double click open, <laughs> and put axe uh, acro pdf1 dot load file and then put open file. Ugh, I cannot. Alright file dialog one dot file name dot two string and um that's that now double click on the open file dialog and um put wait a sec oh wait no I put that in the wrong place so cut that and paste it here and in tool strip button one put open file dialog one dot show dialog now we can go back to the design go to nest and axe acro pdf one dot next wait go to next page there we go And go back to the design. Same idea. Ax acro PDF one dot go to previous page and print axe acro PDF one dot uh, print. Oops. Print and let's go ahead and debug. All right, so oops. Ugh. I'm going to maximize it and click open. Now, let's go to downloads and Windows 8 user guide and click open. Initializing. Loaded. Alright, so it opens it. Oh, as you can see, this is a Windows 8 uh, thing. By the way, I'm going to be uh, downloading that soon, so expect... Uh, Windows 8 uh, tutorials and, and reviews. So if we click next, it goes to next page. If we click previous, it goes to previous. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to print or not. Hopefully it brings up the dialog because I don't really want to print right now. Oh, crap. Okay, so <laughs> thank goodness it brings up the uh, dialog so I don't want to waste ink. But anyway, it'll bring up a dialog, and I uh, do not want to print, so I'm going to click cancel. So that's how to make a, a PDF reader and Visual Basic 2010. Oh, by the way, if you didn't get uh, the PDF reader in your Choose Toolbox Items dialog, it might be because you don't have Adobe Reader installed, which you need to uh, run and use this program. So fun stuff. Anyway, see you later, and uh, have a good day. Oh, and by the way, it also brings up this stuff. So, anyway, see ya. <laughs>